Welcome, friends, to Kiki's best or Kiki's keys to unlocking your best life, sharing stories of people who have been through their worst but are now living their best to give hope and inspiration to others. We are a weekly show. Thank you for tuning in um, on KVUI The Voice, or you may be listening to us online. You can catch our website at www.kikiskeys.life. You can also catch us on YouTube at Kiki's Keys Life or on Facebook at Kiki's Keys. And I am so happy to be here with our guest today who's um, coming in as we speak. We have Ava Hendricks with us today. Ava is with Stuart Titles. She's a loan officer in this crazy world of um, our real estate and mortgage. Um, She is just at the helm of it all, helping her guests out, getting mortgages. She's also a member of BNI, which I got to meet her through. She and her husband, Rick Hendricks, and their family are part of the Tucson community. And she's here to share about her story of recovery from chronic illness and chronic pain using natural path doctors and about how that recovery has allowed her to have a successful career and also nonprofit um, program, a fashion show in November to help our nonprofits here in Tucson. So welcome so much, Ava Hendricks. Glad to have you here. Thank you, Kiki. And then you want to put that microphone right up by your mouth there just before you're catching it. Yes, now we can hear you so much better. So glad to have you here today. Well, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, I'm excited to share my story, um, and I'm very passionate of it because sometimes I think we deal with chronic pain, and sometimes we just get used to it. We just accept it. And I was I was a mom um, about 13 years ago, putting up streamers for my daughter's birthday, and I fell off my kitchen table and landed on my hip, and I injured my L5 and L4 on my spine. And at the time, my husband and I were business owners, and we were just running through life, and I was just dealing with pain, and I just became, I got used to it. I just thought it was just the norm. And then... Your daughter at the time was only one. One. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not only dealing with that pain, but also having to run your business and be a mom. Sometimes we don't get to say, oh, I'm in pain right now. I need to step away from that those demands are constant aren't they yes and I think that's um it touches my heart because truly I would tell you that's like what I think as as women or as moms and parents we just go right and we keep going until we can't go anymore and what was amazing is we ended up moving um I went to chiropractic I did all the things but nothing was making it better and so how I, long had you lived with that chronic pain before you started to before you did something different with natural path. Wow, 12 years. 12 years. 12 years of pain. Like to the point where I'd be walking in the grocery store and I'd, you know, be wearing, you know, my heels throughout the day and, you know, working in the business suit. And, and all of a sudden I would feel like my knee would give out and I could hardly walk. I felt like my body started to feel like I was 70 or 80 years old. And when I moved here to Arizona, um, it flared up more and more. And so when I went to the doctor, all they suggested was to start getting like those pain shots, you know, where Mm -hmm. you go and get the the, the, um, instant relief. And um, eventually that wears off. And um, that's what happened. Okay. So what's um, invited you to naturopathy? Well, what was amazing was I had a girlfriend of mine who um, kept talking about it and kept talking about her sister-in-law, who is a naturopathic doctor. And she works with a lot of cancer patients, um, patients that are dealing with um, just stem cell growth. Um, She even talked about that athletes, a lot of athletes were going to her and traveling long distances. And I was like, I was very intrigued. I started to read about it. And, um, you know, naturopathic is obviously not covered by insurance. Mm -hmm. So I knew that I would just have to basically take that on and um, budget it in. But what was amazing is um, I had the opportunity. She had an open um, time, and I was able to go and see her. And I would tell you that was like a a moment that really changed my life. She looked at me, and she said to me, I, 
I can't believe you've been functioning for this long. My goodness. So what were um, some of the first things that she recommended you try doing differently? And what was your reaction to those recommendations? Well, I think at this point, after trying a lot of things and pretty much anything and everything that everybody would tell me, um, I was open to anything. And Mm -hmm. um, she said to me, you're going to have to change your lifestyle. You're going to have to take care of you. And she goes, it's, it's about time you take care of you. What does taking care of you mean? <laughs> what does that look like? Right. This is what it looks like. So she said, Eva, your diet has to completely change. Um, you're going to have to give up all sugars. Um, you're going to have to uh, take these vitamins. And she basically gave me a list of what I needed to take. Um, no alcohol, you know, no red meat. Um, she says, I'm going to put you on a really strict diet. And are you open and ready for this? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And so we did went Did you forward. go into it full force or did, was it a little bit of trial and error? No, it was full force. I, I really took it on. It was hard because I was cooking two different meals for, for my family versus myself. Your kids were still young yes. at that point. Mm-hmm. And my husband was all on board and he said, I'll eat what you eat. So so we started eating really healthy and just watching what we were eating. And um, sh- what was amazing is she did a, a series of shots. And um, it basically is shark fin, um, basically was sh- shot into my body. And she put it everywhere I had. Um, I had knots and I had knots all over my legs and all up and down my back, like my hips. And, and so my sciatic was always flared up. It could flare up in seconds. And what I noticed was instantly I felt relief, like just with the first treatment. So by the fourth time we did the fourth treatment, my life changed. I was able to start hiking again and I was able to start bike riding and I was able to be the human I used to be. Well, that, that's an incredible difference in just a few treatments. Yes. Um, yeah. What was kind of your first realization that you knew you felt different? Oh, I could, I could see my body, the inflammation of my body started going down. Like I started to, it wasn't about losing weight. It was about feeling good. Mm-hmm. And so I noticed that I started to like drop in size and just my, my face wasn't swollen, you know, um, my back didn't hurt every time I sat or I, you know, like it would tighten up. And so it just was, it was such a blessing because I'll tell you, Kiki, I, I didn't know if I was going to have to go get um, back surgery. And, and that was like the last thing that I would want to do. But everybody kept telling me, you should consider back surgery. And you were able to avail that by these natural life changes as well as treatments. Correct. And how long ago was that you made that change? Wow, it's been three years now. Three years? Yeah, three and a half years. And what surprising benefits have you gotten from that three-year journey? Well, that has motivated me to just stay active and just learn to put myself also first in front of everybody else. Um, I think that's something that's really, I think if, if, if the takeaway is anything is, take care of yourself because we're no good if we're not taking care of our bodies and our health to our families and, and to love them and give them the best of who we are. And, um, you know, I grew up with a mom who culturally, you know, every, she came last. She was always last. And, and so it just made me realize the importance of feeling good. Being an entrepreneur and a parent, you're used to always trying to perform at your peak level. I was trying to show up for other people. What was your motivation to show up for yourself? My motivation is to have um, a longer life a style. Like, I mean, being Hispanic, there's so many people in my family that deal with diabetes and all of the other things. They take the pills and they're taking them because, you know, it's just what they do after 50. And and I've been blessed that, you know, I am, I'm 52 and I don't take any medication and, and I don't have to take any pills and my cholesterol is good. And, and so and just, you look incredible. Thank you. For being 52 just blows my mind because you look far younger than even I feel sometimes. Oh, you're sweet. But a lot of that lifestyle, it plays into how we, how we look dem- is kind of a reflection of how we feel on the other side a lot of times. And I think it's mindset, you know, mind over matter. It's just knowing that 
you know, not not eating the bagel or not eating the tortilla or, you know, like if you had one in one day not eating it all the time, you know, the choices of what you choose to put in your mouth. And, and trust me, my, my family loves ice cream. And um, not every time they eat ice cream, I, eat ice, I choose to not eat ice cream. I eat it well, maybe once a week and I'll have a little, a little one. But, um, but just the choices of taking care of myself so I don't have um, the chronic pain come back. And, and I, I would say that's my biggest fear um, is just not to be ever there again. And I want to be an active um, woman. I want to be an active mom. I want to be an active grandma someday. And so I just, I, I look forward to sharing naturopathic information with people. And, and it's always hard because not everybody's always open, but I think it's timing. And um, when the right time is, I'm, I'm always willing to share. Awesome. We're going to go into break real quick. When we come back, we're going to hear more about some of your adventures then as um, an entrepreneur and um, supporting these nonprofits with your fashion show. Um, so right after this break, we'll talk more about that. Sounds great. And we are back with Kiki's Keys to Unlocking Your Best Life, sharing stories of people been through their worst, now living their best to give hope and inspiration to others. I'm here with Ava Hendricks. She is here sharing about how she had battled chronic pain for over 12 years and used a naturopath doctor to um, get treatments and also to change her lifestyle for a more conducive, healthy life. And now she's here because of it. Feeling great. No more chronic pain at all. No more chronic all pain. All gone. All gone. That's incredible. Yes. And with that, you um, have a, quite a business with Stuart Title. That's how I got to know you. Yes. And um, I know it's a very challenging time right now to be in the housing industry as a realtor, mortgage provider, title provider, or for um, even myself with insurance. Um, how are you navigating those waters right now? Well, I think right now with title industry, we're the neutral party. So it's it's usually the business comes from realtors um, directing it. So my focus is to educate buyers and sellers to let them know that they can make a choice on what title company to choose. And truly that has been my focus for this last year, b- building this community. Um, I have a commercial on, on K-Gun, Channel 9, um, that airs tomorrow. And it's all about educating sellers that if they want um, information looked at on their property before they go on the market, and if they have a trust, that they can choose title company and they can call Stewart Title. So um, it's been pretty, pretty amazing. Um, just building a lot of community and relationships and bringing value. So that's what I do is I partner with realtors. I help them. um, I assist them with marketing and how to level up to the next level in their business. And Stewart Title provides a lot of amazing tools that are free to realtors. And it's part of that community building in your business that has gotten you involved with the fashion show. Absolutely. Share a little bit more about how the fashion show came to be. Well, what was amazing, um, the fashion show, we're going into our third year of the fashion show. I had a member who had a boutique, a local boutique in Oro Valley, and she came and visited our chapter. And she says, said to me as the president, what do you think? Would you consider doing a fashion show for nonprofit? And I said, why not? And so basically in a month and a half, we put a fashion show together where we were able to raise um, money for Oro Valley's um, Rotary. And it worked out really well. It was a blessing. We had a lot of people from the community, local um, community leaders as models. And it was a fun event. As people were leaving, they said to me, are you having one next year? Do we look forward to it? And I said, absolutely. So it's just become the next year tradition. And I was there last year. It really was quite an event. It's open to the public. Is it being held at the same location this year? No, we actually want, we, we've decided we want to hope it, um, hold it in local, different local venues um, on, in Oro Valley. So we're having at Tohono Chul. Okay. And we're super excited because they're obviously a nonprofit too. And we're going to host it there. We're going to have it um, November 22nd. And I believe it's going to be starting about 6 p.m., and it's going to be an evening event in the stars. And it's going to be a wonderful event where we have local um, boutiques. We have True Me Inspire, who is a part of our BNI Six Figures Success um, chapter. Veronica owns the boutique. And 
We're going to have her and like three to four other boutiques that are local. And we're going to have an amazing fashion show. But it's going to be towards geared towards also self-care. So the event normally has been a business expo. And I'm really excited because this year we decided that we wanted to narrow it down to self-care because there are a lot of people that need to educate themselves more on self-care and all the things that are available in Tucson for them. So we're going to have um, five to six local sponsors of self-care um, be at Tohono Chul. They're going to have tables. They're going to be educating anybody that wants information. And if um, someone wants to get more involved, either to volunteer or to have a table or, or have some presence at the fashion show, how can they get more information? I would love for them to contact me. I am in charge of all of the marketing that has to do with um, the fashion show event. I, I am kind of the founder of the event. And so my, just give me a call. Look me up on social media. Uh, look up Eva Hendricks at Stewart Title. My number is 520-237-9936. I would love for you to sponsor. We're looking for sponsors, private sponsors, gold sponsors, platinum, silver on a higher level, level where, where you're going to get exposure. We're also going to have some smaller sponsorships. And then we're going to have a lot of volunteers. This, this year, we're going to gear all of the money that's made. By the way, the money that's made always goes back to nonprofit we right. don't we don't hold on to it and That's, I was going to ask about that it's <laughs> you're you'd benefit different nonprofits each year correct and the recipients this year are pretty powerful recipients um, you were sharing with me one is a home for underage um, or young ladies who are going through e either some emotional or addiction issues correct correct share more about those nonprofits so so one of them is um, actually in they're both in Oro Valley one of them is actually a part of teen challenge it's um, a women's a, a girls group home um, that's located off of tangerine and uh, rotary has actually um, going to be involved side by side with them and fixing their facility and um, I had the pleasure of inviting them to visit our chapter and visiting the location so it's really near and dear to my heart and these girls are dealing with um, you know addiction maybe depression um, they're the, they're young they're from the ages of 14 to 18 so it's it's a small group of, of girls that you know if we can help them why not and pour some and you've love into shared them. a lot of these girls are coming from broken homes or no parents at all, foster care systems. Um, They've been or adopted. Group homes adopted into this program. Correct. And so the parents um, just, you know, need help, and they're like, okay. Um, a lot of them come from a different state too. Um, they, they come from different areas. And what's really cool is um, the whole system of teaching them and helping them. It's Bible based, mm -hmm. and they're being cared for and being taught to be kind. I. I, one thing that really impressed me was um, I walked into the classroom and they had words um, on their board and I asked um, the gal that's in charge, I said, what are the words for? And she said, well, every week we choose a word and we act by example of that word. And um, they had Bible verses and information. And, and so it was, it, it's the teaching of like, let's live it, let's practice it, let's be that person, and, you know, not just reading. And that's hard for each of us to do, especially a young person and a young person going through such a traumatic start in their life as well. Yes. So yes. that's pretty cool that you've been working so close in hand with those young ladies. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And what is your other nonprofit? The other nonprofit, it is um, trafficking. Okay. Yes. And so it's is a there a name of that organization? You know what? I um I wish I had it for you. Oh, but sorry, the, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah, I mean we just we just we got um partnered with the owner, but I know the owner of the trafficking um foundation, the nonprofit. She owns uh, Spenga. Okay. Um in in Oro Valley, and she's also uh, somebody that has been through it. So her, she's, she's, her story's amazing. So I'm really, really excited because my heart has felt that these are two big needs that are happening in the world right now. And the fact that we can support local and she's someone who can actually speak it and share it, it's pretty important. That's incredible. So again, the fashion show is on November 22nd at 6 p.m. at Tohono Shoal Gardens, correct? Correct. 
And and uh, the way it's going to be set up is we're going to have um, information. We're going to have a website set up. We're going to be sharing um, Eventbrite pick, um, tickets that you're going to be able to purchase online. You could actually purchase tickets um, at the door too. And we're also going to have um, information through the Tohono Tool board. Um, where they put all of their information to. So it's going to be marketed very heavy. Watch for that on Facebook and online and in the community. Um, until then, if someone wants to get involved or have additional questions, can you give us your phone number again? Absolutely. Give me a call. My name is Eva Hendricks. Um, it's 520-237-9936. And it's going to be November 22nd at 6 p.m. at Tohono Tool. That's great. We're so glad to have you here today. I'm glad here you have had such a transformation going from dealing with chronic pain to being freed of that. And now you're able to really live your best life and give back to the community. So thank you for that. If you were to give any words of advice to our listeners about seeking out their best life from the words of Ava, how would you, Eva, how would you, what would you say? I would say do something you're passionate about. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, wonder, like, how do I help? How do I assist um, in our communities? How do I build friendships? Um, I would tell you coming here from California and not knowing anyone, um, to me, it's all about community. So get involved in your community, get involved in a nonprofit and feed others and take care of others and you'll be fed just as much. Thank you again, Eva. I keep wanting to say Eva. That's just the it's Minnesota okay. accent in me. Um, but Eva Hendricks, uh, again, with Stuart Title and with the fashion show at Tohono Chill Gardens on November 22nd. You can um, also see I'll be posting those links on my Facebook page. So you can find me at Kiki's Keys or on YouTube at Kiki's Keys Life. And my website is www.kikiskeys.life. Well, thank you again, Eva, for being here. And thank you to our listeners. And until next week, go be the best you that you can be because no one else can do it better than you. Thank you, Kiki.